Damn, man. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Tim Black. Welcome to the Angry Black Man channel. And check this out, guys. Woo, it's hot in here. Hot. It's hot because they burning down black churches all across the South. And I'm not in the South. I'm in Fort Washington, Maryland. But still, I'm feeling the heat over here. It's been five churches burnt. Three of them linked to arson. Two undetermined. This has been happening. And I know you want to say, well, Tim, what do you expect, Tim? What do you expect? Bree Newsom, you let that colored girl go up there on that flagpole and touch our flag. You're wilding, you're riling up the white folks. You're riling them up. Well, guess what? This happened before she touched the flag up there on that flagpole. So they were already riled up. And stop blaming black people for what white people do. When I blame white people for what black people do, nobody's nobody wants to hear this shit. I got people who troll me, who hate me, but troll me and comment racist shit all the time. They'll tell you I'm the fault. I'm the reason why they do it. All right, 621. Tennessee, church burnt. Georgia, 623, church burnt. 624, North Carolina. 626, South Carolina. 626, double banger, Florida, Tallahassee. Do not pass go. Do not collect $300. So that's what's going on, man. And finally, see, I heard about this Saturday. Finally, they come out and start making news, like putting it in the newspapers. The black churches are under siege. Like the NAACP has been warning locally, local chapters to tell the churches, hey, man, put up some security cameras or something. Something's going on. Like one, two, three, four. I think I see a trend here. Something's happening. So, look, hey, I don't know what's making these folks do this. I don't know what's going on. Look, they, they can't prove that it's arson. No one really knows, but I know this, man. I know. There's something fishy is going on. I know that. I think the Klan is behind it. An organized measure to destroy, deface black people's worship. But you know what? I tend to believe that black people have too much religion anyway. That's what I think. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Too much. Turn it down a notch. Then, see, that would be bad. See, now we all get in trouble because if enough black people stop going to church, they may stop putting up with the bullshit. They may stop putting up with it. Now, I got an update real quick, man, since y'all watching. First of all, I need y'all to subscribe to all my channels. All right, subscribe to my channel. I did a good video today on DMX and his child support payments. He really needs your help. Flag. Oh, yeah, the flag thing. Look, man, the ISIS flag, the welfare flag. No, the Walmart flag. This guy's pissed off. He's still pissed off about that Walmart flag. Not being able to get a flag cake at Walmart. Listen, man. Listen. Come here. Come here, Goofy. Listen. You can't complain about your inability to buy something. Understand, Walmart don't have to sell a Confederate flag cake if it don't want to. It's not against the law, nor does it infringe on your rights. You know, but some people are so fucking stupid. Listen, man. They don't have to make that cake if they don't want to make that cake. It's not against your rights to not be able to buy something if they're not selling it. It'd be different if they were selling it and just wouldn't sell it to you. Then it's against your rights. But if Walmart says, I'm not making those cakes no more, then that's all. You know what? You know what else, sir? They don't make 8-track tape players no more. Mm -mm. They don't. They don't make them little 45 little records, the tiny records with the hole in the middle. They don't make those no more either. They don't make Betamaxes, VHS tapes. They don't make that shit no more. It's hard to find Jiffy Pop. This is somewhere, but they don't really make that no more. It's a lot of stuff they don't make no more. You know them big heavy ass TVs that you have to blow out your back, catch a hernia, trying to move them? They don't make them no more. It's a lot of stuff that don't get made anymore. And it's not a conspiracy against you. It's not to change your life and change your heritage. Can't even spell heritage. All right? Things change. Now, as far as ISIS 
And why they make the ISIS cake? They didn't know what an ISIS cake was. They thought you wanted icing on your cake. They're like, hell, of course we're going to put icing on the cake. We don't know the ISIS, icing cake. I don't know what you mean by that. See, not everybody watches back-to-back Fox News like you. Some people don't know what ISIS is. Not really, not really. So that's their explanation, sir. Sorry you couldn't buy your Confederate flag cake. Oh, you know what? I'd like to know what you did with the ISIS cake, though. It looked like it tastes delicious. What'd you do with it, sir? Did you eat it or did you explode it or did you flush it? What did you do with it? Did you burn it? We'd like to know because if you ate that cake, you betrayed your heritage. That's what you did. I'm Tim Black. This is the Angry Black Man channel. Subscribe to us so you get more angry, over-the-top rants that you won't get anywhere else where I get mad for you. That way you can save your high blood pressure medicine for another time. We got five churches burnt in the South. And it may be, it may be because white people are pretty pissed off about something. I wonder what that could be. Maybe they're feeling like they're losing the country like Dylan Roof said. And these deaths or these, these arsons came after, if they're arsons, Three have been investigated as arsons. Came after Dylan Roof shot up that church. Coincidence or linchpin? You be the judge. Comment in the comment section. Holler back.